Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to a year in size coding. This is uh, part one uh, covering the months from January to July of 2022. We went through all the demo scene releases that had size coding uh, in it. So anything that was from eight bytes to uh, 512 bytes. And uh, we put this video together just to show you all of the highlights of the year, what you missed, some hidden gems, all that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed the selection. And let's get right into it because we have a lot of entries to talk about. So the first entry of the year uh, that we had was uh, Epi 2022 by F-Ready for the Atari. Uh, good entry to start up the year. Uh, we had a demo party happening right away in the beginning of the year. The halt happening in Russia. They had a couple of uh, size coding competitions on it. Uh, the winner of the high end uh, 256th byte intro competition was Corda by Market Design, released both for the Pico 8 and the TIC 80. And then for the ZX Spectrum, uh, the on the low end 256 byte intro competition, we had Fool's Mask uh, by Joker, also very interesting release to worth checking out. Well, one month later, we had uh, Love Byte happening online, which as you know, is the biggest uh, demo scene event for size coding uh, things. A lot of different things happening, an eight, by, an eight byte showcase with 21 entries. Most of them were just glitch things, but still worth exploring the small sizes. Um, then we had the old school 16 byte intro competition with 17 entries. The winner was this one, uh, Microwaves by Super Rogue and a Goblinish. On the high end side of uh, 16 bytes, total of nine entries on the competition. The winner was Ruler by Byte Observer, also very interesting release. Uh, doubling the bytes on uh, 32 bytes uh, old school competition. We had Sea Calm uh, by Koala getting third place. Uh, then in second place, CG Arc Dragon by uh, uh, Helmut of Desire uh, for the MS DOS using CGA colors, as you can see. And then in first place of the old school category, we had uh, Colorful Boxes by Gunstick of Unlimited uh, Matrix. There was a total of 18 entries on this competition, very tight competition. Um, moving on to the high-end 32-byte intro competition, we had a total of 20 entries. Uh, the second place was Earthview 32 bytes by Helmut. Uh, and then the winner was Magmarizer by Marky Design, I mean this uh, magma effect for the MS-DOS. Um, Moving on to the old school 64 byte intro competition, we had a total of 18 entries. Uh, second place was this very cool uh, intro by uh, Joker, satellite view of flower fields. Uh, had different effects on it based on the same uh, concept, so a very cool thing. It was a personal favorite of mine. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, then we had in first place Decabyte by Ilmanit. Of agenda also very interesting release for the atari on the high end side of 60 byte 64 byte intro competition we had a total of 23 entries very close competition uh, the fifth place was federal bureau of control by digimind uh, very interesting release for uh, the ms toss uh, then we had mini trip by pestis of brainless coders in fourth place uh, also for the ms toss and then in third place, uh, Throughput by Exoticorn. Um, particular mentioned that this was made for the micro W8, which uses a uh, WebAssembly, uh, size coding in WebAssembly. So very interesting, uh, different kind of platform. Um, in second place, we had Zima for the MS-DOS made by Arjola. And then in first place, Alien Core by uh, Helmut uh, for the MS-DOS as well. Uh, very nice recasting scene and uh, has some sound as well in it. Um, the old school 128 bytes had a little bit more room, uh, 18 entries overall. This was the winner, Interstate 128 by Marky Design. A very interesting uh, release. Um, then we had the Fantasy Console uh, competition. Um, Fantasy Console didn't exist for all the bytes, only for specific ones, 128 bytes and 256. Uh, seven entries for the for this category of 128 bytes. Uh, Days of Yore by Rjo got second place. 
and then in first place we had Illusori by Exoticorn for the Micro W8. On the high-end category, we had uh, third place for uh, P. Malin with uh, the entry Dawn 128 for the MS-DOS. Then Alien Crystal 128 bytes uh, by Helmut uh, got second place. And Star Trip by Bestus 1 with this very uh, good raycasting scene of cubes uh, floating around in space uh, for the MS-DOS. Old school competition, 256 bytes, total of 32 entries, very intense uh, competition. Uh, in third place we had Catherine's uh, by Koala. Uh, in second place Parallax 256 uh, by Serato Finnish Gold for the Commodore 64. We don't see that many Commodore 64 uh, tiny size coding uh, entries, so this was really cool to see. And then in first place we had Merkwood. Uh, by Ilmanite of Agenda for the Atari, very moody setting, very uh, very good release, another of my personal favorites uh, from uh, Love Byte. Uh, then we had the Fantasy Console 256 byte intro competition with 30 total entries, a very good compo as well. Third place for Message from Outer Space by Shy. In second place, The City Never Sleeps by Exoticorn um, for the Micro W8. And then in first place, uh, Tick Tick Doom by Gopher of Alcatraz uh, with some uh, voxel ray marching things uh, as well happening on the Tick 80 and doing a whole city out of it. Really cool. Uh, moving on to the high end uh, competition, we had a total of seven entries, not that many, but all of them pretty high quality. In third place, we had uh, To Be Formed by Pestis of Brainless Coders. Uh, in second place, The Dream We Used to See by Sense Install. And then in first place, Hope by Helmut of Desire. All of them really cool entries. Um, moving on to the old school, 512 bytes. This was the winner entry, the most beautiful thing uh, by Joker, made for the ZX Spectrum. Uh, having a special uh, aliasing thing, took quite a long time to render the thing. But uh, yeah, very good entry, especially for the size. Uh, moving on to the high end, 512 bytes, only 11 entries, but all of them pretty good quality. Uh, in first place, we had uh, Uwe Gullio by uh, Abaddon for the MS DOS. Then in second place, Weather Forecast uh, from Micrisp using the special custom hardware with the oscilloscope was a very cool entry. And then in first place, Pulsating Magic Orb by Pestis for the Tick 80 uh, won the competition. So a lot of entries for Love Byte and all different kind of uh, categories. Um, after Love Byte was over, we still had a few uh, releases coming out uh, that, is, that are worth highlighting. Uh, Ukraine by uh, Ilmanit was released right after the war started between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Um, became quite popular, made for the Tick 80, uh, mixes a bit of politics and uh, it, it can be qualified as art. Uh, for some people, there was quite a discussion if this is art or not. Um, then we had GPU Mandel 256 byte for the Atari Jaguar, also worth also worth highlighting because there aren't that many Atari Jaguar side scoring efforts uh, happening. Um, and then revision happened uh, in Easter as always, and they have a 256 byte intro competition. Uh, a couple of entries that we wanted to highlight, uh, DE6215, which is uh, uh, an eye wink to debris of, of uh, Farbrush. This was released by Golfer of Alcatraz, uh, got third place, and it features this uh, recasting, remarching uh, city uh, being destroyed, just like debris. Uh, this got third place on the competition. Second place, a line rider by Sebert was uh, also very interesting uh, release. Good use of music, very tight sync between the visuals and the sounds. Then in first place, we had one by Helmut of uh, Desire for the MS DOS. Uh, in Poland, there was a special demo party happening uh, surrounding the Spectrum, Specky.pl is the name of the event. They had a 256 byte intro competition, which was won by this entry, Trip to a Party by Gorg of Agenda. It was very uh, cool, cute little release. Um, another release outside of any competition was Splash Screen 4 by Sense and Style, also worth checking out. Very interesting colors and a uh, nice style. 
Um, then we had a Yumalalta Faryan party happening on the boat, and uh, there was a couple of size coding entries released there. One of them was Hardcore Software Engineering by Pasikibi Keso Kekonen. Uh, Pasikibi Kekosen Linya. Uh, from, yeah, from Yumalalta. And uh, this was uh, the entry that it did for the Tick 80. Moving on to Holland, they had an uh, outline demo party happening with uh, a couple of, actually four uh, different size coding competitions. Old School 128 Bytes was won by uh, Patchwork by Market Design for the Atari, uh, then the 128 Byte Intro Competition for New School uh, platforms was uh, won by Shift Right by Market Design. Uh, made for the micro w8 if i'm not mistaken no it's ms dos okay uh the new school uh the old school 256 byte intro was won by bitplane revolution ip malin very interesting release for the zx spectrum abusing the attributes of the characters uh there and then the new school uh 156 byte intro uh, which was overwhelmed a little bit by fantasy console stuff uh, in fourth place uh, Mellow Tick by Dresden Boy having some speech synth in uh, Tick 80. It's a very interesting release. Uh, Quickie uh, by Pestis of Brainless Coders also for Tick 80. Getting third place with this tunnel effect. Relaxation Exercise by Exotic Horn for the Micro W8 uh, got second place. Then in first place we had Thrive by Ilmanit of Agenda also for the Tick 80. Very cool scene with this uh, tree and going through the seasons. Really well made. Uh, congratulations on that. Uh, other events that happened that also had uh, size coding competitions. Field effects in the United Kingdom had a fantasy console 128 bytes. Uh, second place was for electromagnetic wave by The Watcher. And then in first place, uh, silos by uh, Marquee Design. QB Party in Hungary also had a 256 byte intro competitions for uh, for DOS and TIC80 uh, entries. Uh, the first place was won by Illumination with uh, past 256. Um, then moving on to France, uh, there was also a couple of entries released at their 256 byte intro competitions, um, a total of five uh, overall. It was won by Perfect Storm by Marky Design uh, yet again. Marky Design doing a world tour of submitting entries to every single party that they can. Uh, moving on in Sweden, Summer Hack happened dedicated to the Atari. Uh, and they had a 256 byte intro competition that was won by Market Design again uh, with uh, Shiraz or the Atari STE. Uh, in Poland, we had the uh, Lost Party with a total of seven entries on their 256 byte intro competition. It was won by Monument in the Rain uh, by Gorg of Agenda. And then uh, back to Sweden, we had a couple of uh, size coding entries hidden in the different compos that they had. Uh, one of the ones that I wanted to highlight was, is Code Not War by Vilkens of Five Finger Punch, made for the ZX Spectrum that got fourth place on their old school demo competition. Um, and then the last entry that we wanted to highlight was made for the small party in uh, uh, France, in Nancy, France. Uh, it's a small Atari party, um, Super Rogue uh, of Market Design submitted a little entry there, 64-byte uh, uh, intro for the Atari called Mosery. So yeah, these are all the entries that we wanted to highlight from this first half of the year. Hope you enjoyed the video, you found some hidden gems, hopefully, uh, or remembered some, some things that you might have uh, forgotten since last year. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next part. Enjoy Love Bite. Bye bye, everyone. Take care.